So coming out first, Raymond Yanez, of course, has become a staple here. This guy, very, very experienced. He's fought the best of them. He's fought all over the place. And this, you know, uh, this being Mitch Raposo's second fight at the pro ranks is a big step up for him. He's given up a lot of experience in there with Ray. Absolutely. Uh, Ray's got 16, this will be a 17th professional fight. That's a lot of fights. It's a lot of cage time, no matter how you split it up. Uh, Mitch is, is, is very, very effective inside the cage, has a lot of cage time himself. Um, Raymond Nanez, definitely the bigger of the two. Mitch, definitely the more athletic of the two. A lot of power in Raymond Nanez's hands. He managed to clip Ken Boy in his last fight before he was finished uh, due to that he is knee busting. But he did land some powerful shots against uh, former title challenger Ken Boy. So if he can land on Mitch, I'd like to see him uh, Mitch be tested. Now, will Mitch be able to get the takedown? More than likely, he's very, very good on his shots. Yep, the seasoned veteran in Raymond Yanez. 17 fight, this is his 17th fight on his professional level, so he's definitely got the experience factor against the young and surging Mitch Raposo. Uh, it, it, this definitely is Mitch's toughest test to date. He's never fought somebody with this much cage time, with this many, this many finishes, this many wins already at his professional ranks, and he did not get me that time either, did Zach. Very so close, I was able close. to keep the distance. No lips hit my very face. Um, but anyways, yes, Raymond Yanez, he's been making a real comeback to this cage side's cage. He's been more and more active. He looks very lean, as, as in shape as we've seen him in his comeback to the cage side in his cage. And he's looking to put a stamp on the young phenom in Mitch Raposo. Mitch Raposo, a decorated amateur champion, has yet to taste defeat in the mixed martial arts world, whether an amateur or professional. Surged onto the professional scene with a win over Rob Fuller. Finally finished the fight, something he was very critiqued in his amateur career and he's looking to keep that trend going in another finish here tonight climb to 2-0 oh, only 20 years old all the hype behind him already a local legend uh mr pozo still very like i said 20 years old coming in on a tear he's one of the best in new england the bar none pro or amateur wrestling very good striking always mixing it up Smaller for the weight class of 35, being naturally a 25er. Both himself back up, got a strength judgment, going up against a bigger guy, but his technique is so clean, his timing is so good that that takes away from the size. So I'm willing to bet Mitch Raposo implements his game plan just like he always does. He was the king of the flyweights at one point. I, I expect him to do well here at Pro Bantamweight. And ask anybody in the New England scene, they will tell you Mitch Raposo, this kid is a killer. I mean, he's in there in the gym. He's been in there in the gym with the best of the best since he was a kid. This kid has been training. He's been waiting. He finally made his pro debut. He's going for his second win in a row, and you can just see it on his face. He's so eager to get in there. This kid just loves fighting. I very, love it. Very excited. Looking to keep this momentum going, and we're about to make this one set. Tail of the tape here, 34 years of age for Raymond Yanez, only 20 years old, Mitch Raposo, weighing in at 137 pounds. Yanez coming in with an inch reach advantage. Both guys five five. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the 10th bout of the evening. This is a catchweight contest at the professional level, scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, with a professional record of five victories and 11 defeats, this man stands at five feet five inches tall and weighed in at 140 pounds. He is representing Lashley Training. Give it up for Raymond the Reaper Yannick! And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner with an undefeated professional record of one victory and no defeats. This man stands at 5 feet 5 inches tall and he weighed in at 137 pounds. He's representing Regiment Training Center. Let's hear it for Mitch Raposo! Our referee for this contest is Alan Lau. All right, 140 pounds. 
matchup between Raymond Yanez and Mitch Raposo. Mitch Raposo in the blue corner, Raymond Yanez in the red corner. We're set to go. Red trunks for Mitch Raposo. Looks like some tie-dye going on to Raymond Yanez, who is definitely the larger fighter, older fighter, more experienced fighter, but all the hype lies in the corner of Mitch Raposo. An interesting challenge indeed. They touch real, him up in the middle. Real deep, deep uh, stance for Raymond Yanez. He knows that Mitch is going to come for that takedown eventually. He's going to steep his base real low. So can... Ooh, big left hook. Nice left kick to the body. Caught the liver clean. Looking like he wants to throw hands tonight. Mitch, you know, in the past, he's known for his He's been compared to GSP. Ray looking for a takedown. Look for the takedown. Mitch stuffs it, capitalizes, goes for that front headlock, switches over, takes the side control position. Beautiful transition from the mount. Just slap that mount right on. Giannis, trying to take the back now. Giannis has got to be careful not to give up his back here, and he does. Uh, he's working back. Mitch is very good about Mitch getting mount. people flattened out. Giannis needs to stay off his flat back. Mitch taking his time. Very, 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 very uh, composed here. Mitch got the back now. He's got the back now. Give him a thumbs up. He's on an angle. It's a tough chin. Chin's tough. Chin's tough. Chin's tough. He's got the over arm on, around the neck as opposed to underneath. Going palm to palm. There we go. That's deeper. Yeah. Can't be stretching him out. It's going to be it. Yeah. First round submission for Mitch Raposo. Mouthpiece almost hits the camera. Man lands in the crowd. Able to piece together some beautiful combinations with the hands. Yeah. Let him go for a bit. That man is thinking, and then when Yanez went for the shot, Mitch was able to transition to the back after side control, get the mount, stay on him like glue until he got the neck, cinched it under the chin, kept that squeeze, rolled around for a bit, and ultimately got the tap. Beautiful performance from Mitch Raposa staying on the feet. Be beautiful transitions there, but just all over him there on the ground. Uh, when he got the hooks in just a matter of time. Uh, great job on the uh, uh, on the scramble for Mitch Raposo. Great job to get to the back there. Real good speed on the transitions on the ground. Obviously very, very good on the ground. His top pressure is very good. Uh, Mitch did everything very technically sound here. Got the mount, stayed composed, waited for him to give up his back and sunk in the hooks. It was a great job. Beautiful second outing for Mitch. Only 20 years old. Unbelievable. On, on, on uh, comparable potential for this game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for these two warriors. Referee Alan Lau has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of round number one. Giving you your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Mitch Raposo! There you have it, Mitch Raposo making short work of Raymond Menez. It's a quick one. <laughs> As he gets his picture taken. <laughs> And he will meet with Mike. All right, there we go. I'm here with your man. I don't know your nickname, is it Mighty? What is it, Nick Jonas? <laughs> Whatever you want to call me, that's what I like. Nick Jonas, Killer Mitch, Mighty Mitch. As long as they're talking about me, that's what matters. That's what they say, man. Any press is good press. You are doing your thing in this cage, 2-0 as a pro. You know, you talk about, as long as they're talking about you, do you feel more pressure to live up to the hype, or how do you, how do you react to that? I put enough pressure on myself. There's no, there's no amount of pressure anybody can put on me. You know what I mean? I want to be the best in the world one day, and there's no more pressure than that. I come in here and I come in, I told them to shine big. 
everybody can have their talk about me, decisions, blah, blah, blah. I, as a pro, I haven't been in this case longer than three minutes, so what's happening now? You know, Raymond had a, a ton of experience. Um, you know, what did you think about that fight? What, give me your assessment of your performance. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, this is my second pro fight. The guy has 20 pro fights. He's fought all the top prospects in New England. And my goal was to finish this guy more impressive than anybody has. And I honestly think I did, I did that. You know what I mean? I think I have the most hype, the most build on, as, as a prospect. And I did all sports suits today. You know, when you talk, people listen. You got the camera. What do you got to say to those people that are watching Mitch Raposo? Hey, I'm going to keep coming. You know what I mean? There's no doubt in my mind. I'm 20 years old. People are talking about the UFC. At the end of the day, it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? It's, it's already written, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be in the UFC, and I'm gonna take it step by step, and I'll get there. All right, well there you have it for the man himself. There you go, Mighty Mitch Raposo, Mitch Jonas, whatever you wanna call him. Mitch Raposo remains undefeated, climbing to 2-0 with a sensational first round submission of Raymond Yanez. A very seasoned and decorated veteran of the sport, Mitch Raposal handles that test and passes with flying colors. Absolutely, great job done by Mitch. Well, well executed. Uh, game plan as always. Came in, dominated, did a great job.